Here is a game I made based off the movie The Hunger Games. This game is for grades 3 through 8. The equipment you will need is 24 hula hoops, tape to split the gym into 4 equal corners and to mark off the hula hut area, and a bunch of throwing objects that are safe to throw such as foam balls, yarn balls, small gator skin balls, nerf balls, etc. Here is the setup for the game. The center circle is the cornucopia with all the throwing objects in it to start. Each team has 6 hula hoops to start and needs to use them to build a hula hut in the corner squared off before each round. If you are not sure what a hula hut is, here is a picture of a few I have built. In this game, each team will only have one hula hut, like the ones on the left and the right. This is something you might need to demonstrate how to build, or might want to let your students figure it out on their own. Once each team builds one, you can start the game. The game starts with each team member with one foot in their hula hut area. When the whistle is blown, they can run to the center circle to retrieve as many throwing objects as possible. Once they do, they need to return to their corner. The objective of the game is to knock down the other team's hula huts while protecting their own. They must stay in their team's corner and cannot go in their hula hut area during the rounds. So here, the blue team throws the ball at the red hula hut and a red player defends their hula hut by catching the ball. The teams can throw at any of the other three hula huts. Here, a yellow player throws the ball and knocks down the blue team's hula hut. The blue team is not out as they still need to try to knock down the other team's hula huts. Here, a yellow player defends their hula hut by catching the ball. As this happens, a green player throws the ball and knocks down the red team's hula hut. The round is not over until there is only one hula hut still standing. So now, in this case, a yellow player throws the ball and knocks down the green hula hut. So yellow wins the round. You should play as many rounds as you can. You can keep track of who wins each round, or you can give teams points each round based on how they did it in that round. You can give 4 points to the team whose hula hut is still standing at the end of the round. You can give 3 points to the team whose hula hut was the last one knocked down. 2 points for the team if their hula hut was the second hut knocked down and one point if their team's hula hut was the first one knocked down. You can add these points up after each round and see who has the most points at the end of the class. Thanks for watching and if you like this video, subscribe for future phys ed videos.